Rangers manager Don Howe has just brought two centre-backs, Darren Peacock and Andy Tilson, to cover for his long list of injured defenders. But the curse of Loftus Road has already sidelined Peacock with a ligament injury and more rash tackling at the back hardly helped their cause against Sunderland. An early penalty given against Gus Caesar, but for once, the luck was with Rangers as Paul Bracewell's casual kick was easily saved by Jan Stejska. Buoyed by this piece of good fortune, Rangers return to the attack. Ray Wilkins controlling the ball nicely from a corner and enabling Danny Maddox to head home his first of the season. The Sunderland striker, Colin Pascoe, obviously likes playing in London. He scored twice against Tottenham last month, and with the Rangers back four, again showing signs of frailty, Pascoe was able to force the ball home to give Sunderland a deserved equaliser. The second half now, and Rangers' defence obviously hadn't learned from its first half excesses. Once again, a needless penalty. This time David Bardsley bringing down the injured Mark Gabbiadini's replacement in the Sunderland attack, David Rush. Kevin Ball given the job and he made no mistake. Roy Wegerly has been a constant irritation to better first division defences than Sunderland's this season and it was the talented striker who again brought Rangers back into the game. He earned the penalty and scored it 14 this season. Rangers now pressed forward for the winner. Bardsley floating in the cross for Mark Falco to volley past the helpless Tony Norman. Three much-needed points for Rangers, and perhaps now the curse of Loftus Road can be lifted.